Texas is one of the largest pecan producing states in the country and today I'm 20 miles east of Austin on Birdall Orchard and Hal, tell me a little bit about your orchard. Well, I planted the orchard in either 1980 or 81. I can't remember back that far. Originally started with about 5,000 trees, and now we're up to 15 or 16,000 trees and 350 acres. So uh, in a good year, how many pecans could you potentially produce? On a really good year, it could go up to a million pounds. That's a lot of pecans. Yes, it is. Hal, I've never seen anything quite like this before. What is going on here? This is my pecan nursery. I start seed in these little white cups. It's a bunch of styrofoam cups. Yeah. There's a seed, pecan, actually a pecan planted in those cups. And if you look close, you can see oh, they're just, little, yeah, it's just coming seed. up. These come up as a, uh, like a native nut or seedling nut. And then we have to graft or bud to make them all the particular variety that the farmer wants that's going to buy them from me. So how these trees look pretty young. This is a new tract of land for you? Yeah, we have 120 acres here of trees that are, these are five and some others over here that are four years old. So how many years is it before they start giving fruit? These are beginning to bear now. Uh, you'll make a few pecans at three and at four it increase a little bit and at five it just keeps going up and at about seven you're usually in full, full production. production. So how these are the early stages of the pecan, I guess? Yeah, that's a, that's a cluster of three right there, which is kind of an average size, three or four. And they're just in, a, in the stage now where they start sizing. Is this variety of pecan known for something in particular? This is Wichita variety, which is a, a really hard one to grow for this area. Um, but uh, it produces real heavy. It's, it's, in fact, it's my favorite one. These are very oily. Oily. Yes, yeah, so they're really good for baking. Hey there. Hey, Dave. Uh, Hal told me to come find his son-in-law. You must be Jared. That's me. So tell me about your end of the process in this whole pecan making thing. OK, you're currently standing in our shelling plant. What takes place here is the pecans come in in our 50-pound bags. They are cracked, shelled, and sorted, and then sized. So these are the biggest size pecans, right? These are our golden halves that you all find in store. We also get several other sizes, um, regular pieces. They're either run through the chocolate machine, our candies, or put in pies. Everything is made on site in our own kitchens. Very cool. All right, well, I'm going to go find your wife so that I can eat some. Great, Dave. It was nice meeting you. Thanks. Well, Hal's passing me off to the whole family, and now I get to cook with the daughter, Jennifer, and I'm really excited because I hear you make a mean pecan pie. That is correct. Now, do you say pecan or pecan? Pecan. Pecan, okay, good. Then that's the way I say it. All so right. We're right on track. We're gonna make a chocolate pecan pie today. So that's for dessert, and I'm gonna make sort of the main course, which is some little pork chops that I'm gonna coat with your pecan pieces. Sounds amazing. I think it sounds great. So let's start with your pie. All right, first I'm gonna add two cups of our Wichita variety pecans. We're gonna add uh, chocolate chips, and that makes the, the chocolate pecan pie extremely yummy. So how many eggs do you have? I have three eggs. Three eggs, and I have how, how much? Two tablespoons of butter. Okay, so let's dump that in there, great. So the next thing are these syrups, right? Yes, sir, we're gonna add a quarter cup of light corn syrup and a quarter cup of dark corn syrup. Right, while you're mixing that all up, I'm gonna get started on my dish. And the spring onions are gonna go into the salad that I'm making. And the salad is just a really simple sort of coleslaw. And it's really simple. It's just a very quick salad to accompany the pork chops. So with mine, I added my spring onions to the cabbage here. And basically, I'm just gonna add a little bit of um, pecan oil and it has a really light pecan flavor, you said, which I think um, is gonna add a nice little touch to the salad. And I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. Actually, this is queso fresco, and it's gonna go really nicely in the salad as well. And that's really all there is to that side salad. Jen, how are you doing on the, on the pie over there? Great, I have all my ingredients in, and now I'm just gonna stir all of this up. Oh, that looks really good. So the pork chops I have really thin, and the reason why I have them cut thin like this is so that the pecans don't burn. And I made up a little spice mixture of salt and black pepper and sage and marjoram and paprika and a little bit of ground clove. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the, the pork chops. I'm gonna use plenty of the oil here so that it really sticks to the pecans, stick to the pork. 
I think that looks great. We've got tons of pecans on there, lots of pecan oil, some good spice. We can actually add a little bit more spice to the to the pork just before it goes in the oven, and I am ready to stick this in the oven, and you're ready to stick your pie I in am. the oven almost too, right? I am, I'm so ready to eat those pork chops. So it's perfect timing. So this sauce that I'm gonna make for the pork is really simple. There are only three or four things that you put into it. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter because I know how much people like butter down here, and about, uh, about a third of a cup of dark brown sugar. I'm gonna add some cider vinegar too to make it a little bit of a sweet and sour sauce. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that spice mix that I already mixed up for the pork. Jennifer, this stuff looks amazing. Your pie looks awesome. And I can't wait to eat this pork chop. It looks good, doesn't it? it smells amazing. Well, I'm gonna give you a taste first. Yeah. Yes. What do you think? What mm. do you think? <laughs> it's a big bite, sorry. It's a little bit of a big bite. Mm. What do you think? Amazing. You like it? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna try too. Mm. What do wow. you think? That is like a big mouthful of like a caramel pecan candy with tons of chocolate. It's great. We made a good team. We did. We did it.